hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go. Hi everyone, it's Jules. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm looking forward to this video because I'm about to suggest some gifts from small shops, some on Etsy, some not on Etsy, um, but just some places where your dollar is gonna go a lot further for the person who has made this certain thing. Um, so I hope there's some stuff that you enjoy. I hope you get ideas for some gifts for folks of yours. If you enjoy this kind of video, please subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and most importantly, I love when people leave me comments below. Um, so please feel free to let me know who you are, where you're from. Um, I will have all of the links in the description box. None of them, I don't make any money off of any of them. Um, I just wanted to share things that I really have loved from shops that have put a lot of heart into their products. So let's go. I tried to flick, fix it. I tried to fix the glare off my glasses because I know that's probably annoying. I will do close-ups of each product, so if I'm holding it right here and you can't see it very well, do not worry. Um, where should I start? I have, I have, I'll just say I have a bunch of candles, so maybe I'll kind of hold on those um, and do them all together. So let's start with this. So this is a Tranquility Eye Pillow. This I got off of Amazon, but it's from a small shop within Amazon and it's made in the USA. Um, inside are, is lavender and organic flax seed. This is one of those things that you can throw in the microwave and then just place it over your eyes. I'm not gonna take it out of the bag because it's for a colleague of mine and I just don't even wanna touch it because it's gonna be going on someone's face. Um, but it smells really nice. I can already smell it through the bag and it's a very relaxing gift to give, I would say. If you hear a dog licking his lips, it's because there is a dog licking his lips. Let me show you. Bowie, oh, none of these are for you. It's okay though. Yep, okay, you stay right there, no interruptions. This sign, so this is a sign that I have had for about two years, and um, it, I'll show a close up, but it says, please do not disturb, night shift, office, or sleeping. And this, I typically hang um, in the little window at our front door, because someone in this house gets quite a few deliveries, so. Trying to keep things quiet, uh, people hardly use the doorbell when this is up, which is really like the purpose. Um, this was also custom made. The person who made the shop that made this actually had a bunch of different options. I just wanted it to say night shift officer um, to keep things simple. I also, um, for one of my friends, I used, I believe it was that same shop and I uh, had a sign made that said no wake zone kind of like a nautical take on a, a sign to not wake up a baby. Um, also do uh, kind of custom orders like that, which is honestly something that I love about shopping with Etsy. A lot of times you'll pay for it as you should, but if someone is willing to do a custom order, it just makes it that much more special. I'm gonna do a clothing item next. And it's this sweatshirt. So this is a, I think it's technically called a reverse dyed sweatshirt and it's a black sweatshirt. And so they used, I believe bleach to make this design. And there's some kind of process with like laying it out in the sun. That's the back. But I just thought they did such a nice job forming this, um, this design. And I love it. It's so soft. I've worn it like at least 10 times since having it for the last like month. All right, we'll take a little break to do some candles. Um, I'll start with, these candles are not on Etsy. The brand is Antique Candle Co, but it is a small shop. Um, they actually just sent out a really nice email thanking everyone for shopping with them over the last year. They described kind of the waves they went through with their staffing and being able to support staff. And it sounds like from the orders they've received, they've been able to keep, I wanna say over 30 people working from the email that they sent. So those kind of wins mean a lot and it just helps you know that your money is going to something really important. So I brought over, I think I got like 
eight or so candles from them, but I've brought over three. I have one lit. And the first one is Mama's Kitchen. This one to me smells kind of like apple cider. Yeah, apple cider with like a heavy cinnamon, heavy hand on the cinnamon, which is, I like that. But it's good, 16 ounce soy candle, hand poured in Lafayette, Indiana. And I just love their branding too. Like the way the label is so simple and they've got the, I don't know if you, well, yeah, I think this is a gal galvanized metal lid. Um, just looks really nice. So that's Mama's Kitchen. Next up is Sweet Lemon. What I liked about this one, let me give it a sniff. With lemon, it is really hard to find a candle that smells like a true lemon and not a sugared version of a lemon. Because with a sugared version, that kind of like, I don't know, gets sick of that smell faster. Whereas like a truly citrus candle is great to burn, you know, while you're cleaning and it just kind of refreshes you. This is truly a lemon scent. Um, this is a great candle to burn while you're cleaning. And then the last one, the one I've got lit here, and I've got the lid right next to me. This is Georgia Peach, and it smells exactly like you just bit into a Georgia Peach. Um, Oh, it's just wonderful. And it really, it has a decent throw. Um, and I know it scents at least this whole area of our condo and it just smells wonderful. I've burned this one twice for a few hours and um, actually by the measurements on this little jar, it says it's only a fourth of the way burned. So good value too. Oh leave that lit. Keeping on the candle train, I bought a few candles from a shop on Etsy called Milky Pure and I can't wait to show you. Okay, you're just gonna rip things out of there and because the way they did their branding it's like embossed off of the label. Roman, are you in the video or are you out of the video? Make choice. Eh? So I got three scents here that I'll show you. I think I got four total. This one in my hand is California Citrus. This is also another very strong citrus smell. And what's nice about this shop is you have the option, I think on most of their candles, to either have a strong intensity, a weak intensity, or um, a wood wick or a cotton wick. So I like the wood wicks. I think they last longer. If anyone would like a dog for Christmas, Okay, if you want to be in the video, you're going to be in the video. That's, you get what you want. How's that? All right, we're going to talk about things together. Okay, so we were talking about this candle. <laughs> this is the California Citrus. I got the strong variety and the Woodwick because I really like how the Woodwick burns. Like it, to me, it seems like it lasts longer. And sometimes there's even like that little crackle sound, which I love. Um, so this is California citrus, true, true citrus, not a sugary citrus. Yeah, smell. So, the next one is morning rain. This one I also did the strong intensity and I think woodwick, let's see. Yep, woodwick. I hadn't burned this one yet. I'd say out of the three that I have here, this one comes in third place for me, only because it goes, it leans a little floral, um, and I don't love floral, but I know quite a few people do. I'd actually say this smells exactly like roses. And then my absolute favorite, like one of my favorite candles I think I've ever purchased. <sighs> Um, is again Milky Pure and the scent is Amber Noir, N-O-I-R, kind of like Pinot Noir. Um, also got this in the strong intensity and with the wood wick, you can see it's way down there. I probably have another at least two burns out of this and it's, I want to say a third of the way left, um, third of the candle left. So again, great value for these. This to me, I think I've, I've nailed this one pretty well. This Amber Noir scent to me really smells like a 
I know, stretch your mind because we haven't done this in 2020. It smells like a going out perfume to me. If you are a fan of YSL Black Opium perfume or um, even like Juicy Couture Viva La Juicy, you will like this because of that warm amber um, base in it. But it's just so wonderful. It, and it does disperse quite a bit of scent and um, which is impressive for, for a little candle. Okay. We've got um, some items from Sweetwater Decor. So I've got one, two, three, I think just four items from them. So these are matches, they're matchsticks, and they sell a bunch of different colors of these. So these ones are pink, hot pink. I don't know if you can get a sense for just how hot pink those are. I love these. There's something about just like the scent after you light something with a match that that is different from the, you know, electronic lighter. So I love these. I also think it makes a really cute gift if you've paired it with a candle. Um, just again, something nice that someone perhaps would not buy for themselves. They also have, I know, a multicolored version, which is super cute. Also from Sweetwater Decor, I bought our soap dispensers so that I could switch out the ones at the kitchen sink. So I have the dispenser for dish soap, for hand soap, and of course, hand sanitizer. Um, this one I more so try to keep by the door so that when we're coming in and out it's really easy to grab some sanitizer. What's really nice about this company, so I usually don't call out if someone's like made a mistake or something, but when someone kind of like owns that mistake I, I definitely want to make it known. So they had, so first of all when you go to order these if you should be interested in buying them you can just buy the labels which I think is really nice. Because honestly, if you want to just buy bottles off of Amazon and then slap their, you know, designed label on it, I think that's perfectly fine. You're getting the same result. You still get to benefit from that look, um, but you're probably saving a little bit of money. With this hand sanitizer dispenser, I forgot which one they originally sent me, but they, I want to say it was, it said hand soap on the label. And I sent them a quick email and just said, hey, um, you know, I ordered this, I got that. I said, if you just send me the label, I'm fine with putting it right over the existing label. I don't need a whole new glass dispenser. And then they did that. I had it within like a week. Um, slapped it right on top of there and there you go. So this is an item that I'm going to be a little bit spoiling a surprise. Um, but this is a gift for my nephew. It's a Santa plate for Santa's milk and cookies. Um, oh, and also the reindeer's food, of course. Um, as you know, it is very important to leave out these goodies or else perhaps you won't get anything left from Santa because if he didn't have that drink and that cookie, maybe he would just walk right back up the chimney. You never know. Um, so this shop owner was really sweet. She personalized it with their last name. That's just what I'm covering right there. Um, but it's all engraved. I'll show you in a close up. It's incredibly impressive and um, I absolutely love it. I hope it's something that he has his whole childhood. The other thing that I wanted to show you and I'm kind of switching it up a little bit um, is this item that's actually on the wall that was right to my left from where I was sitting. And of course it says, it's so good to be home. This was a custom piece made by Luna Berry Lane. Um, she also has a, an Etsy shop, so that will be linked below. It was just wonderful working with her. Um, I actually, I found her because she was giving some gifts in support of a mother who had just lost her son. And so it caused me to look into the work that she does. I want to say she calls it something like 3D woodworking um, and let me get in there and give you a good idea of why. So you'll notice it truly is 3D work and then she is really wonderful with having the ability to select each color that's used. So I wanted her to frame these in this black color. I think it's actually a stain um, on top of wood. She showed it to me before she stained it because it was kind of like a mahogany color and it looked so pretty 
but with the other stuff that I have on this wall, I wanted to make sure it matched. But just those kind of little things that you don't get when you're, you know, buying something from a big box store. She was really wonderful to work with. One last item to talk about. There is a shop on Etsy that's called, I think, Throw in Stones. And um, this, I'm going to screw it up, but I think it's made out of sel selenite? Selenite? I'm not sure. Um, but what's really nice is when I have a votive, or excuse me, a tea light in it, it glows. You can kind of see the same effect if I put the candle under it. It just kind of like takes on that iridescence um, of the candle light. I got a few of these. I think I bought four. They're heavy. They've got some weight to them. Um, so don't be surprised if you order them and the box is super heavy. I love just sticking a tea light in this and the light that you get off of it is gorgeous. It's, you know, something that's really nice to have going if you're just watching TV late at night. Um, they're beautiful. Great gift. Everything that is on this table, I can highly recommend. I can say it was wonderful working with each seller. And if you buy something from them, your money will be going to a wonderful place, a, a very deserving business owner. And thank you so much for watching. Again, if these are your kind of videos, I'm kind of trying to figure out what people like to see from me. So feel free to let me know if you liked it. Also, let me know if you have any video requests. Um, I think that's sometimes the most fun way to, to source for ideas. And thank you again. Happy shopping.